I'm here at the Fanuc Open House at the foot of beautiful Mount Fuji. I'm with Mike Chico. He's president and CEO of Fanuc America Corporation. And Mike, uh, at this Open House, we're seeing a wide variety of technology that expands everything from machine repair to, to advanced sophisticated robotics. But one thing we know manufacturers are facing is a problem across North America, and that is the problem of the skill shortage. Uh, how are you adapting the machine control itself and the process of, of machinery control to try and like compensate for this? Yeah, it's a great question, Jim. We have a number of different initiatives initiatives that we're, uh, that we're currently executing. Uh, really the first is about uh, smart machine control and ease of use. We have a large initiative set forth right now to try to make the controls uh, smoother and easier to use and then also uh, more apropos for the new generation of manufacturing employee that we have. Uh, we utilize a technology called MT Link Eye. Uh, that technology is able to uh, uh, communicate between the machine tool and uh, upwardly facing systems so that we can have active communication between the machine and higher level systems. Um, and we have an entirely new development called IHMI, which puts a, a graphical interface on top of that machine uh, to really highlight a lot of the ease of use features that small to medium sized businesses uh, are expecting from our product now. Uh, in addition to that, we have a large initiative to try to get a CNC simulator product in the hands of some of these upcoming uh, manufacturing employees to try to bridge that skills gap. So we have, we have created a CNC simulator box. We actively sell that uh, to schools and businesses to train those next generation of uh, manufacturing employees. Now, speaking of CAD CAM, of course, uh, uh, the original CAD suppliers, the Autodesks of the world, um, they've implemented their stuff heavily in the very large operations. And of course, they're chasing the SMEs also. They want to work their way down the supply chain to the, to the smaller. Now, of course, uh, their goal is ultimately to generate G-code entirely within the software, pipeline it by an Ethernet connection directly to production machine and then walk away. Now, SMEs I visit, especially ones that are involved, of course, in that lucrative, high-mix, low-volume production environment where they live, where they earn their bread and butter, right. uh, they still want to do significant amount of machine programming at the control, at the machine side down there. Can those two things coexist for the SME? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, the integration of the CAD CAM software uh, companies that we work with and integrating that into uh, the control itself has been a seamless process. Uh, in addition, uh, we've also been highlighting on the automation side ways that we can make the robots easier to use and the integration between the robot and the machine tool as well. So we can give those SMEs uh, a, really a, a complete package from the machine control side and the automation side where they seamlessly talk to one another and are also easier to use. What does AI mean for those SMEs, or those mid-sized machining operations? Sure, that's a great question, and it's an ever-developing field. Uh, our first implement, implementation uh, of AI and Industry 4.0 has been a product called Zero Downtime that we have, that we've implemented on the robot side of our business. Uh, we have over 10,000 robots right now currently utilizing advanced AI and analytics where we can uh, predictively uh, determine failures uh, weeks before they actually happen. So we've utilized that level of AI on a big customer side right now in the automotive industry and we're start, that's starting to trickle down into the SME business. Um, uh, on the machine tool side, we're looking at ways where we can predict failures from spindles, uh, tool life. Uh, we're looking at how to increase the uptime and all of that's going to be built right into the control uh, using the smart uh, technology, the smart manufacturing technology that we have. Uh, SMEs know they need the technology, they want the technology. What is the, the in your experience, that the obstacle that they may encounter in then making that leap and just, just pulling the trigger, writing the big check, and then getting this equipment in their operation? Yeah, sure. Obviously, the, a lot of the big challenges that they face is that the high model mix that they that they uh, that they encounter. Uh, you know, they might machine one part at a time. They machine one part. Someone gives. Order for one part, and the next part's completely different. Uh, the way Fanuc's trying to tackle this is with ease of use. Uh, by, by making our products, all of our products, easier to use, uh, we can give that end user experience, especially on the small to medium sized business uh, aspect, where they really can go from one part to the next and have a completely different model mix and yet still be able to utilize automation and machine tools uh, to, to help their factories be more efficient and, and, and generate more revenue for them. Advanced technology that's easier to use that delivers excellent ROI, says Mike Chico, here at the foot of Mount Fuji at the Fanuc Open House.